Yeah, good good points. Um, the the other one that that's popped into my my mind here, um, just knowing what's what's coming up next on this this presentation, um, periods of peak demand. Um, <laughs> we, when you when you take a look at, at the the crops growth stages, there there's definitely going to be times where there's there's greater demand for certain nutrients uh, and, and used in different parts of the plant. And and this is just a, a figure showing what it looks like for spring wheat and when stuff is needed. But you you think of a canola crop, um, you start you start getting to that four or five leaf stage, and then it really starts uh, filling in cabbaging, uh, we call it, and then then bolting and into flowering. There is a ton of nutrient demand going on at that point, um, ton of water being taken up, ton of nutrition as well. So having it available and making sure that it's, it's going to be there for when that happens is, is going to be crucial. Absolutely. I would, I would second this in, uh, not to bring up potatoes again, but I will. Uh, potatoes, <laughs> of course, major user of, of uh, many nutrients, but phosphorus and, and especially potassium. And a lot of producers, and that's some of the work I'm working with now, is timing foliar uh, potassium and phosphorus applications in conjunction with the stage of the tubers, depending on the grower's goal, if they're looking for tuber size, tuber number, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, I, I, again, I speak to this uh, very much that just looking at the peak demand and the goal of the crop, huge factor for foliar nutrition, huge. <laughs> 